all right guys welcome back we have some breaking news here that has leaked i don't think this was supposed to be coming out right now and i'm making this video now. i want to get this out to let you know, know what's going on because my video tomorrow is going to be talking about all of the stuff going on with xbox signing the 10-year deal with sony so stay tuned for that but we have some breaking news here when it comes to xbox game pass and the subscription tiers looks like they're all changing around something i think a lot of people have been wanting is to get rid of games with gold and that seemingly is going to be happening now this isn't official but i mean you can pretty much take it as official from what i'm seeing online unless something changes this is an article that somebody got into the back end i guess of windows central as you can see here the article isn't there but in the leak itself it actually has the link to the windows central article and this is probably going to be published sometime soon just wasn't ready to be announced now here's a tweet here from idlesloft that says xbox live gold will apparently transition to xbox game pass core on september 1st and this will include online multiplayer and various benefits same prices of xbox live gold so it's going to be the ten dollars a month existing xbox live gold subscribers will convert to core includes 25 game pass titles and games with gold offers will end so i guess the question everybody has here is the comparison you have ten dollars for core same as xbox live gold still $11 for console, still $10 for PC, and $17 a month for Ultimate. Then the other question is, what are these 25 games? Is this going to be worth it with the Xbox Game Pass Core? And here is the list of the games that we can see within the article that is going to be coming out. This Among Us, Descenders, Dishonor 2, Doom Eternal, Fable Anniversary, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, Grounded, Halo 5 Guardians, Halo Wars 2, Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, Humans Fall Flat, Inside, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Psychonauts 2, State of Decay 2, and then Elder Scrolls Online, Tamriel Unlimited. Now it does say here... Microsoft says that this list will grow in the coming months. So more than 25 games, I guess you could say, because they're going to be adding more to this list. And we don't know really what that means. And free games previously acquired with Xbox Live Gold will remain in the user's account. So make sure if you want to redeem the last couple of months of your Xbox Live Gold games, go get those because you will still be able to play them. They still will remain with you. Now, it, there's some other features here. To keep in mind, it says discounts on purchases that Game Pass subscribers received will also apply to the core subscribers. So it's basically just a rebranding. It's essentially Xbox Live Gold, but instead of the monthly games, you're getting a pre-selected list of games and maybe they will continuously add a couple of games here and there. Very reminiscent of the PlayStation Plus collection that they gave out when the ps5 released where you got access to a bunch of games in there if you signed up to ps plus to get, give people games to play at the launch of the console and what else is interesting here is they are going with the game pass branding now for everything there's no more confusion here with xbox live gold it's all just going to be different tiers of xbox game pass and this will probably expand out to other things because we already know they've been testing out the xbox family plan so people are waiting for that to come over to north america to the united states to canada and we don't know when that's coming but you could probably expect a fifth tier here in game pass now i don't know how i truly feel about this i think most people are would be happy with this you see every single month people complaining about the Xbox Live Gold games because they really, the value really isn't there for those games or there isn't any big hitters that do come out every single month with it. And to be fair, PlayStation Plus's games in the lowest tier were way better than what was coming out with people who were subscribed to Xbox Live Gold with the monthly stuff. So, I mean, the 25 games there, all stuff that you can already play an xbox game pass there isn't anything here that's crazy i think uh, what to me it's obvious what they're trying to do here is they're really trying to just get you to jump over here to a game pass subscription whether that's console or pc or seven dollars a month more for ultimate to me it's a no-brainer at the end of the day i mean maybe some people don't want to spend that extra seven dollars but 
getting the ultimate game pass the value is just so much better than paying the ten dollars for the course subscription i don't see that many people looking at this if they want to just play a bunch of games and deciding to go with the core over ultimate i feel like people who would be signing up to core are doing it because they are playing a couple of games mostly playing online multiplayer games they'd be playing some call of duty and stuff like that but especially when the activision blizzard games do come into xbox game pass i mean the ultimate price they just raised it so i don't think they're going to be raising it right away again or maybe they won't at all it's still an insane deal and it's just about to get better but there it is it doesn't really add anything change anything up here other than taking away the games with gold on the monthly basis and then giving you a pre-selected catalog of over 25 quality games and they are quality games these are there's lots of good stuff in here that you're going to be able to jump into and have fun and play i mean even just do maternal right away something i think a lot of people will be excited about and then you have fallout 4 fallout 76 now they're continuously expanding that out and a lot of people are still playing that so that maybe some people want to play and even a game like fable anniversary if you've never played fable i would definitely play that as well and psychonauts 2 and even save decay 2 for me great games and one of my favorite games honestly of all time is ori and will of the whip so it is a decent list and we'll see what, what else they add to it and i'm more interested in when they're going to be adding family plan and if they're going to continue to add different tiers to the xbox game pass catalog and then the other thing here that is going to completely change for the business side of xbox which i think is actually extremely smart is now all of the gold members are going to be included in the xbox game pass numbers so the amount of subscribers we're seeing for Xbox Game Pass is we've heard like 25 plus million or whatever it is, probably closer to 30 million. And now adding in all the Xbox Live Gold subscribers, Microsoft and Xbox are going to be able to use that number for financial reports and for when they do their quarterly financial results. Like it is going to be very crazy because now we see PlayStation do with their PS Plus numbers, including everybody within the service xbox is going to be able to do the same that's going to boost boost the, the number crazily and investors and the business side of things are going to be happy to see that is what I, another reason i'm guessing they are going along with adding in the core to the xbox game pass family but i will leave the video there guys if you did enjoy this video hit that thumbs up if you are new here hit that subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video